We are going to build a driveway not tying into anything. And I'm going to start with a line. We're going to go perpendicular. Now, we've been using perpendicular snap, but we're going to do a different tool here. We're going to do line from element. And we're going to do um, by angle. It wants to know what element we're going to go from. And we're going to go here. What's our skew? We don't want it to be tangent. We want it to be perpendicular. So I can type in 90. And notice the arrows. What's the start distance? Okay, so I'll say start at 0. And then what's our data point there? What's our distance? So if we want to go uh, 20 feet out, and I want to see that it should be, yeah, it'll be negative 20 data point. Okay, so before I move on, let's see what we really have going on here. Let's verify that everything's cool. And notice the heads-up display. Um, so if I wanted to change that skew, for example, if I knew that I needed 60 degrees, okay, there. And now as I move that along, it should remain 60 degrees regardless of where it is. That's the relationship. The relationship is an angle from the element. Regardless of where I move it along that element, it maintains the relationship. You know, that's not actually an edge of pavement. That is a baseline. So what I'm going to do is just so my symbology is correct, is I'm going to change things. So if you get something wrong when you input things, you can go ahead and go into properties and change it. So I'm going to say baseline driveway. I get a different symbology, which is what I'm looking for. So I have my driveway center line. Let's go ahead and put my edge of pavements in there, 12 feet wide, 6 feet on either side. Let's do that. We're going to do the entire length of that. Let's say click here, 6 feet. Mirror, yes. There we go. That was quick. And I can do a line between points to connect those in the back line. Now that's a straight line between them. In theory, if I wanted to have a parallel, if I wanted to have an arc across the back, I could use a partial offset, but I do not. A line is fine. Uh, let's make sure the relationships are there. Yeah, there we go. Notice both glyphs for the key point snap. There's my offsets. Everything's connected. I got to do arc, simple arc between. I don't need spirals or anything like that. I'm just going to do a simple arc. And the distance is, I don't know, 10 feet. So you want to be consistent because we're going to just we're not going to trim this edge of pavement. We're going to just trim back here. So you want to be consistent. I'm always going to pick the driveway first and then the edge of pavement second. Data point. And so because since I'm always doing the driveway first, that's my back element. And there we go. We do the same thing here. Back element, a head element, trim back. It just allows me to not accidentally delete the trim the wrong element there. Okay, so let's verify that everything's cool. I'm going to click. I'm going to grab things, and things should remain all connected. Again, if I wanted to change that skew, there we go. Everything updates automatically as it should. I'm going to move it over there. So our goal on this driveway is to tie into this existing line. Now, very often you have to tie in at the right-of-way line um, with a standard perpendicular from the, the perpendicular to the road, different from this one. So we're going to go. We're going to start off with a partial offset of the. I don't have a right-of-way line in. We'll just assume it's 30 feet off the the uh, edge of pavement there, and I'll say partial offset. I want to make sure all my locks, 30 foot offset is fine. Everything else is unlocked. Locate element, edge of pavement, and I'm going to go 30 feet off and just eyeballing it because I'm going to trim it later. It doesn't have to be exact by any means. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to have my center line, so I'm using the match. There we go, and it should change to geom baseline driveway. This way it's going to be the right 
symbology and whatnot. I'm just going to do a line. And I can do a skewed by angle, but I'm just going to use a perpendicular because it's a valid relationship. I'm going to go intersection. So this would be my, my right-of-way line in the center of the, the existing driveway. And I'll go perpendicular. I see that glyph there. All right. Before I move on, I want to make sure it's behaving as I expected, that the relationships are there. Intersection, perpendicular, outstanding. And now I'm going to go back to what I did previously on the other driveway, which is, looks like six. All right, mirror looks like this should go really quickly. Oops, I want to make sure my edge of pavement is the right. There we go. And hit that again. So I should be able to say from this, six feet off, mirror, yes. Um, to get the trims in the back, I will just go drawing production, excuse me, drawing. Following my prompts in the lower left corner there, and fillets. Geometry, simple arc, and trimming back, so I'll pick my driveway first. Data point, data point, pick the driveway, edge of pavement, data point, data point, and I'm good. Okay, so remember how I said Open Roads remembers how we did things? Our goal here was to be 30 feet off the edge of pavement at that line, along that center line. So if I move my center line, everything should update, including that one to the right, according to the rules we built. So notice it still ties into the intersection on that. Okay, so regardless of where this moves, it's always going to tie into the center line of that. That is just, uh, uh, I'm inspired. So this driveway, we're going to be, begin like we did before, 30 feet offset from the uh, edge of pavement. Um, largely because we don't have right-of-way lines in there, but that would be a preferred workflow. In any case, I'm going to go 30 feet off the partial. Just go from here to here. Okay, and now we want to get these edges. We want to match these edges on this one. And so one, these are in reference files. Uh, one way you can get that, you know, you don't want to copy. There's a, a, a cooler tool. Just do, do a um, offset the entire thing, zero feet off. There you go. And that brings it into the file. It's still linked to the... The reference element, so if that changes for whatever reason, this gets updated also. And I'm just going to do my fillets, and we should be done. So, okay, let's do this other, uh, I'll do this one. I'm oh, sorry, wrong one. I always do the driveway first so that I trim back. It helps me be consistent. There we go. Oh, hello. Sorry, I forgot that fillet, so let's go ahead and fillet that. Okay, so uh, let's confirm. I do a move, it should follow along. All these things should uh, follow along because they're well behaved. Okay, so notice that it maintains, regardless of where that meanders, it'll follow it. This is still perpendicular, tied into that edge pavement. Well behaved, I like well behaved geometry. Following my design intent. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.